something along those lines yeah <laughs> Um, so, um, what was our, uh, our other EMI was, um, five, top five murder weapons. Um, they could be because you thought they were really silly, because they're really cool, because they're iconic, whatever. Murder weapons for movies. Here we go. Um, I'm going to go in the same order I went before, so we'll start with Chris. It's Pim, Pim Davenport. <laughs> Oh, I can't see the microphones in the way of your little. Oh, um, there you are. I was, uh, I was thinking about the laser gun. You know, the Navy's supposed to have had a, like a laser gun for how long, guys? Since we real gun, since we were in the Navy. Yeah, I'm supposed to have this nice laser gun. So I'd always want one close. of those. Well, no, we uh, do have a laser. Or... It's on the Ponce. They have it. Oh, I would Is like there? that. You know, because I've always why the stormtroopers couldn't shoot them straight. I don't know, but maybe we've gotten it right. Um, a crossbow with, you know, automatic loader. So you can have like 20 arrows just going across. And every time you shoot one, it automatically loads the next one. I know they have bow and arrows that do that. Mm -hmm. So something like that. Uh, the bladed boomerang. That's what I want. <laughs> Made famous in the Road Warrior, that the the weird kid with the special glove caught all the time. Yeah. Um. I also want a. Uh, I, I wrote hook hand, but it's a. Uh, it's basically a <laughs> a limb. If you're missing a leg or an arm, you can have interchangeable parts. So different weapons that you can click on. Yeah. You know, like enter the yeah. dragon. Enter the Dragon, like, you know, Mr. Hand, uh, yeah. the Planet Terror, or Inner Space. Remember, there's, like, some, I don't remember what movie it was, but there's a chick with a machine gun leg thing. Yeah, that's Planet, Planet Terror. Terror. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Um, you know, in Inner Space, you know, old Vernon Wells, when he's walking out of the mall after shooting that guy with his finger. With his mechanical hand, he walks past that kid's balloon and pops it. So that was always funny to me. I think my number one is a garrot. Uh, Damn you! I don't know. If, uh, <laughs> I don't know if you're allowed. Are you allowed to carry piano wire around, Herschel? Has that been? Yeah, just that that garrot. Especially if that's your profession. I mean, yeah, you can twist that garrot, the two handles after you have the piano wire and the neck, you know, and you can just feel the. Personalization of the murder. I'm sad. I you know, know. kind of like this is probably, you know, you're like, oh, after I fucking kill this one right here, I'm going to go plant my grapes on top of them. <laughs> <laughs> I've always liked the garage. Um, I had written guillotine. That's not a weapon, though. It's a, a device more. So, but the garage is yeah, like not to murder. So, right. Oh, neither, neither is a screwdriver, but it's in theme with the top five. Yeah. Yeah. It was kind of like a, you know, it's pretty open. <laughs> uh, that brings us back to Joe. All right, all right. I, uh, <clears throat> all right, murder weapons in movies that I enjoy. Uh, how about the axe from uh, Last Action Hero? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, love for that one? Yeah, I like that one. All right, all right. Um, the knife uh, from the bad guy in Commando. Okay. Um, oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean, I did not mean Commando. I meant Cobra. I apologize. Cobra. Okay. <laughs> Night I Slasher. Were, I thought you were going. Cobra. That, that fucking thing was crazy. Um, uh, I also have uh, just pigs in general. <laughs> we we saw that movie, you know. And, and yeah, I guess so. it, it works. Whatever. Um, I also really enjoy the murder weapon, Mickey Rourke's mitts in yeah. Sin City, and my mitts. <laughs> right. Oh. And uh, my favorite murder weapon would probably be a shot of slow mo and then thrown off of a building. <laughs> yeah, just <laughs> red. Yeah. 
the best. Yeah. <laughs> Hans Gruber slow mo. <laughs> I take I take Hans Gruber slow mo too. That'd be a good. One. <laughs> All right, thank you, Joe. Andy, you're up. What are your top five weapons? I went for the uh, the long game and the uh, you know perfect crimes here, uh, starting with sugar. Developing diabetes over time. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm Wilfred Brimley, and I'd like to talk to you for a few minutes about diabetes. Neuropathy. Oh, my God. And, uh, you know, oh, yeah. God. High I, fructose I, corn I, syrup. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the top of the earth nations. Yeah. <laughs> um, smoking. <laughs> seven minutes off your life, eventually the respiratory diseases <laughs> catch up with you. It's going to get you. Just encouraging your partner to smoke. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, How about some popcorn lung from vapes? <laughs> Since we're on a corn theme. Yeah, yeah, man. Um, <laughs> dihydrogen monoxide. <laughs> Just drown and that'll take you out, you know. Uh, all of these, you know, of course, leave no marks. They're largely self inflicted over time. Um, and sometimes stress. you can lead, lead, lead a fulfilling life. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> stress building up over time, you know, <laughs> create other ailments, and uh, you know, eventually culminating it's to like cardiac. The office episode where Michael Scott yeah. thinks he's like he, it's dangerous working in an office setting. Yeah. And then I went uh, lastly with marriage because <laughs> oh, men God die dear. like seven years earlier than women, so perfect murder. Well, and it, it suits this film. <laughs> <laughs> wow so andy you had no ethylene glycol in there whatsoever no, no. the slow killer all right Herschel. <laughs> yep it's your turn what are your weapons so you know i mean nothing um nothing worthy of following in those footsteps <laughs> uh but you know so any gun you know guns that make it easier to kill people since the match lock um I'll go with a butcher knife that I've never actually seen anybody actually have in one of their kitchens, like yeah. you know, fifteen inch jobs. The cleavers, uh, but right. yeah, I, but there it's like in every movie. So sure, obviously there. Maybe I'm just not rich enough. I don't know. Our <laughs> knife from Walmart didn't have it. Um, the machete, which is actually really dull. So if you're going to do it, I mean, it's you, there's some dedication there. Messy. Um, I do like the shovel. You know, the shovel is a good one. You got reach. You got an edge. Um, you dispose of the body. I, yeah. exactly. dig, dig the hole. I, now you're going to dig the fucking thing up. You're going to dig the hole. You're going to do it. I got no fucking lime. You're no, going to do it. Fuck kids. I'll dig the fucking hole. I don't give a fuck. Was the first hole I dug? First time I dug a hole, I dig a fucking hole. Like, where are the shovels? I've told Patrice time and time again, if I ever go on Naked and Afraid, I'm taking a shovel. Because, I mean, it's it's multifaceted, it's multifunction. A leather man of killing tools. Exactly. Um, and I was going to go with a garrot, but that <laughs> was stolen. That's so that specific. <laughs> um, so I'm going to go with, with any airlock in any spaceship that you can get thrown <laughs> out of. <laughs> and if you want to keep it into the real world, it would be any plane that you can be thrown out of without a parachute. Uh, so yeah, there, there you go. That's five. That's good. Let, uh, let let the record show that both of us picked garrot for number garrots. One. Yeah. No, I did. It, it, mine was going to be the pull it out of your watch kind, not the two handle uh, deal. You're talking but, about the Lucky Charms and Austin Powers. Yes, yeah, something like that. <laughs> So, oh, the shark yeah. pool and Austin Powers. Though. That's a good one. All right. Well, thank you for sharing, Herschel. Uh, now we come over to, uh, I guess, your chip. Sure. Mm. My chip or are you, Evelyn? It don't matter. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, My top five murder weapons, semen on film edition. Uh, number five is a uh, ship line as seen in ghost ship mm. yeah. uh number four is the fish hook from i know what you did last summer okay. 
Um, number three is a harpoon gun as seen in Friday the 13th part three. What's that? In Deadpool? Dirty Harry? Deadpool? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He does it. Gun there? Yeah. It's, it's yeah. in there, too. But it's it's cool, man. Um, Number two is the galley microwave as seen in Under Siege. In my professional opinion, he is a military reject in command of a galley. Get down! Yeah. And the yeah. <laughs> and the number one uh weapon killer is uh the Tomahawk cruise missile as seen in Top Gun 2. Dagger attack. Tomahawk's airborne. No turning back now. Hmm. Thank you. I like that you uh you all had really good fun takes on this. <laughs> very not very nautical. Uh, yeah. Glad yes. somebody caught it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> nautical. Yeah, we, Once you let's said, make sure everybody knows. Yeah. Once you said the galley mic. Nautical yeah. theme. You Once you use the word galley, that's all nautical. <laughs> <laughs> Clever takes. Uh, you guys are always putting on your own flavors to these things. Um I went with the weirdest ones like I, I thought of like weird kills and silly kills mostly with this um so um the the steamroller from who framed roger rabbit who's steamrolling those uh tunes right out of toontown <laughs> Austin Powers, Austin Powers, Powers though. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I, that's my where I first knew it. Um, <laughs> oh, I saw this movie with the with the kill. There was a horror movie with the snowman that comes to life, Jack Keaton, and he kills with a with um, a carrot. Like he takes his nose and stabs with it, and I thought that was really weird. Um, in season. <laughs> Jack, Jack also Tom. in season, yeah. <laughs> um, one, two, three, four, five. Did I write five, six? Okay. Um, there was, I don't know why I watched it, but there was a James Bond film with this guy named Odd Job, and he has a bladed bowler cap that he uses yeah. as a weapon. <laughs> I don't remember this movie at all. I just remember watching this guy and going, <laughs> How is this a thing? That guy doesn't Old. look like he's fighting. What is happening? <laughs> Goldfinger. Uh, that's that one. You. That's Goldfinger? That's Goldfinger, yeah. Yeah, I just Googled movie with guy with bowler cap as <laughs> weapon. Like, because <laughs> I didn't know did, what it was. Well, did Austin Powers pop up? Uh, yeah, no. That was a shoe. <laughs> yeah, uh, random task. <laughs> random Who throws task. a shoe? <laughs> Who throws a shoe? Honestly, <laughs> random task. Because it was a job, you know, in Goldfinger. Odd job through the bowler hat, so random yeah. task at a throw the shoe. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, let's see. I think I'm on four here. Um, the a stampede of antelope, as in the Lion King. Mm. <laughs> Second Lion King reference in as many days. <laughs> I just like working in a kids movie every once in a while. And then um murder weapon. The attempted murder weapon of the uh records from Shaun of the Dead. Purple Rain. Oh, okay. Shaun of the Tony. Definitely not. The Batman soundtrack. Oh. <sighs> While they were trying to I guess I like throwing things. Uh, <laughs> um <laughs> They were trying to kill the zombies uh, the the that were in their yard with the records. Thought that was ridiculous. Anyways, those are my murder weapons. <laughs> um, 